Hi, my name is Rachel, and I'll quickly walk you through the Test Sets and Runs module. Test Sets and Runs is where you organize your tests into cycles or tasks. A test set is a group of tests that belong to a specific task or user or have a reason to be run together. A test set can be, for example, tests that focus on a certain area of the system, such as GUI or database, tests that belong to a specific tasks such as regression or sanity, or tests that need to be run by a specific user during a day or a calendar week. You get the point. The most important thing within a test set are the test instances you assign to it. A test instance is a link between the test set run and the test you created in the test library. Instances allow you to reuse tests from the test library multiple times. You can add a test to your test instances choosing from your list of tests or from your filter trees. Moving to the actual run, click the Run button and follow the steps determined in the test. Choose to pass or fail a test according to your result. You can press the Fail and Issue button to directly report a defect. When looking at the test instance grid, notice that when hovering your mouse over the run status bar, it will show you how many steps are in each instance. The pie chart above the instance grid shows how many tests have passed or failed or were blocked. You can create a similar pie chart in the steps level as an aggregation of all the steps in the test set last run. This is a lot to take in. You can always click on the chat button down below and usually we respond fast. Good luck!